And let's find it here. This is my planner lineup for 2023. <laughs> Thank you for tuning in once again on She Empowered. This is Bernadette and today, as per my thumbnail, we're going to discuss my planner lineup for 2023. It's been a couple of weeks where I've been toing and froing, cannot decide on, on what planner and what system I will be using. Um, and finally, I have decided. So to start off, um, I'm the sort of person that functions much better um, if I have everything in one place. Maybe not exactly every everything, but as much as possible. So in the last couple of uh, weeks, maybe even a months, um, I have been trying to separate my wallet from my everyday carry. Um, it worked a bit, but I wasn't happy about it. So my mind was constantly running and, and thinking, should I change? Should I go into rings? Should I change the size? Should I go back to pocket? Oh my, it's been, uh, yeah, <laughs> I couldn't decide. Well, finally I'm here. And clearly, there's a decision, and I'm I'm happy about it. Um, I'm still waiting for some supplies. I will be letting you know. So basically, um, these are what's going to tell take me through to next year. Um, let's start with my. Uh, this is the A6 Gilio trifold in the in the natural color, um, undyed. And this holds my five-year Hobonichi notebook. So basically, I started this in 2021. It will take me up to 2025. And I'm not going to show you what's in here because it's pretty personal. Um, but this is my, obviously, my memory keybook. To give you an idea, let me find a blank page. So, come on. Okay, there's a blank page. So basically, <coughs> excuse me, but I've, I've, currently I've, um, asthma is not, is not very good. So I might be coughing a bit here and there. Um, so basically what happens here, my 2021 and 2022, as you can see, are empty. But that means that either I was busy and I didn't manage to find the time to put down what I wanted to put down about the day or an event that could have happened. If not, I come back to this eventually and probably just put in some nice life quotes here and there. And this empty page on the other side is very useful because I have come across many days where I need to open up, like this little space is not enough for, for the day. And so I write down the year on this side and continue opening up on the subject, whatever that may be. Um, yeah, so that's my A6 five-year planner. As you can see, I've done it all with washi tape. It's, it's, I, I like, I like, uh, look here, I've, I've been doing some water coloring. Um, this is a fun, creative place and the memory keeping. So that's that, that always stays at home. It never leaves my home. And my everyday carry, I have decided that this year it's going to be my TN, standard TN. And I'm using the Giramondo Deluxe in the burgundy color. I've got another one that's yellow. Um, so as soon as I'm bored of this, I will change the colors. Um, and yes, I'm pretty happy so far. And as I said, um, 
this is going to be my everyday carry, including my wallet, which w that makes me very happy. I uh, I enjoy having my my everything in one place, basically. So my system is pretty pretty simple. To start with, um, let me take you around, right? So here is a little cute charm, yin yang. Can you see that? Yes. This is from your your personal organizer. I'll leave the link down below. Um, I love her shop. Very nice, nice stuff she have. An Oli clip. Let me see. Hopefully there is nothing personal here. Okay, no, not, there is nothing personal. So basically, um, as you can see, a little bit of die cuts here and there just to keep me happy. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Um, sticky note, note so that I can do my running list, my shopping running list, a little bit of washi tape. There I have a couple of documents which I will probably get rid of in the coming days. Here I, ke I keep a couple of cards, um, <coughs> some photos of my loved one and my mom pass who passed away in 2020. Um, this is currently functioning as my wallet, but um, I'm waiting for a wallet insert, um, so that will change. This is a cover, a PVC cover for a standard TN, which is empty because I'm, wait I'm waiting for, for some uh, um, standard notebooks, so that is currently empty. Once again, this is from uh, um, your personal organizer, which uses this fantastic material, which is waterproof and practically tearproof. She prints them on both sizes, whatever design you like, or pictures I did in this case. And as you can see, there, there are holes. Why do you think there are holes? Because I was thinking I was going into, the, into a personal sized uh, planner ring planner and look at me changed my mind in a couple of weeks <laughs> i'm sure some of you would understand me um planner girls and boys and all you planner people you can understand that um so this is uh, i want to be sure i don't have anything personal so let me flip to an empty okay so my very important planner is the month at a glance. So this is what I need to keep me organized. This is what I need where I can put down my appointments or any major events happening. So I can just move on to that particular month and um, check whether I have anything going on that day. As for my daily appointments, meaning my work meetings and activities like that, those go on my online organizer um, because when I tried to do it on paper, it wasn't working. So basically everything that comes here will has to do with my personal life, not any any work meetings and what have you. So my planning is the, the monthly spread and I'm not going to show you that because that's personal. Okay, this is empty. It will be just a, a simple running list. So what I do is I, I draw in little boxes and whatever that to do is, I list them down. I had them according to the month that we're in. Let's say we're in December, right? So, and I have four tasks or four to-do lists. Um, and I know I need to get those, those tasks done. If they're not done, I will simply move them over onto the next month. It's sort of uh, reminiscent a bit of bullet journaling, but not exactly. I just tweaked it for my for what works for me and that works perfectly. So that is all I keep for my for my 
planning and journaling. Um, and also in this book, I'm going to have, I'm planning to do meal, meal lists, meal planning lists. Um, uh, so far, that is it. Those are my credit cards. Um, yeah, that's all I'm going to have. So it's a pretty simple system, which very much works. I will be getting some more supplies and I will be showing you an update. And I will also um, be showing you how my system is going on. Usually this system, I've used it in different planners. I've used it in a pocket planner, which worked 100%. I've used it in an, A in an A6. So I don't see why it shouldn't work in, in this standard TN. I think it's pretty. I mean, it's chunky and it's pretty. And it still needs to be filled in a little bit more. Um, yeah, so that's it. Thank you for joining me. Um, this, I think I mentioned it another time. This, these rugs I make myself. They, I, co I call them planner cozies. Um, it's a planner mat and I also do the planner pockets, um, which I will link down. Uh, for you to be directed to my shop. Thank you for stopping by and thank you for taking your time and watching my video and watching whatever I had to say. Leave me your comments, let me know what your planner lineup is and let me know especially if you decided to embark onto a new form of planner, be it size, um, system, whatever that is. I, I, I'd love to hear from you. Thank you and See you soon, very shortly. Thank you.